Okay. All right. So we've got our we've got our potential good person, our cop. Let's find out who this cop is working with. Again, remember, if I can find all the, you know, SDK 11's best friends and worst enemies, it's going to give me more information on that particular gene. So here, what I want you to do is I want you to search for, um, I want you to type R2 space genomics. Everybody do that? You should come up with a data set that looks like this. Or I mean a web page that looks like this. This stuff, there are so much data in R2 genomics analysis. Like this, this is, and it's free. So, so much data. I actually, <laughs> and it's, it's run by Europeans, which is always better. Like Europeans, have way easier, way better websites that give you way more information than we do here in this country. Like the US is horrible. NCBI is a joke. <laughs> the way they, they set things up. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mine some of this data. We're gonna generate our own data set. So here's what I want you to do. On this first page, you can see single data set. I, I want you to click on single data set. We're just gonna choose one data set. Here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna, so select a data for analysis. I want you to click change data set. Okay, you should come to this page. Here's what I want you to do is type lung and then start and then space a deno. And as you type that, you should only now have only two things to select from. These are different databases in their larger database, sub-databases in their larger database. So in this particular one, these are all different. They're both public. This one, this first one, if you can look at this N means how many samples they actually have in their database. They have 107 samples we can look at that involve lung adenocarcinomas. Here's the one, the TCGA one we were actually just looking at. We can actually now mine it through this website. Again, I told you a lot of these different databases are mining TCGA, right? We went and saw TCGA, now we're going to a different data set or web or database and mining it back again. This, this happens all the time. You know, you go into a database, you come out, and then you're like in this database that's back to mining the stuff that you just came from. You're like, all right, whatever. So here's what I wanna do is I wanna select, so on the very left, I'm gonna hit select, select the TCGA ARS platform. So up here it should say lung, tumor lung adenocarcinoma. And it should say TCGA 515. So has everybody got that? Yep. All right, cool. Now what we're going to do is down here, this type of analysis, I want you to put correl find correlated genes with a single gene. So if you go, so not in the view genes category, in the correlate genes category, I want you to say, Find correlated genes with a single gene. Click on that. Is everybody with me? And everybody has bookmarked this page, right? Okay. So I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna type in my gene. I'm gonna say SK, what was it? SKL11, is that right? Oh, STK, got it. And as I type that, you'll see STK11. Click on that one, not the STK11 IP. That's a different gene. I'm gonna leave everything the way it is right here. I'm just gonna leave it the default, so you don't have to mess with that. But again, if you wanted to, you could absolutely and utterly make this very specific. You could d determine like, you know, how many present calls you want, you know, does it have to be, you know, 
like uh, false discovery rate. Remember, you're putting your parameters around, stuff like that. So, okay, we put our gene in and now we're gonna hit next. So what it's doing is it's going into that database, that lung cancer adenocarcinoma database, and it's basically based on the gene we gave it, which is STK11, it's finding all those correlated genes. And not just things that are positively correlated, but also negatively correlated, right? We're finding this, it's super friends and it's legion of doom right now. And you could do this several times, right? I could do that for STK11 in this database, and then I could go back and do the same thing in that other database. And then what I could do is actually could compare the results and only take what's common. I've done that before, and it's just like, like the best gene list you've ever seen. It's so awesome. All right. Does everybody get this? Did it come out? And you're going, uh, okay, <laughs> what the heck do I do with this? Well, now we've got numbers, right? So we're, we're, we're basically dealing with R values. Genes that are closest to one, you know, genes that are one have perfect positive correlations. Genes with a negative one have perfect negative correlation. The more negative that value, the more ne negative it is correlated to STK11. All right? So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go down to... On your right, you'll see all kinds of things. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. What I want to do is I'm going to go down to, you can get a heat score, which is cool. What I want to do is I want to save current selection as a text file. So I'm going to click on that. And you should get this, which is a pain in the butt. I hate this. I hate when they just shoot it out into another HTML file and like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? Okay, so you have this page. Here's what I want you to do. In order for us to manipulate this and to generate our own gene list, on this page, I want you to right click and I want you to hit the save as. I want you to save it as a text file and I want you to put it somewhere. I'm gonna just put it on my desktop. Right, make sure you know where you're putting it because we need to get to it. So hit save. Okay, did everybody do that? Does everybody have Excel? You are a scientist, you better. <laughs> or something very similar. Okay, so here's what I want you to do is I want you to open up your Excel. And in your Excel, go to your file, and I'm, I want you to go to open, and then find out where. And this is basically all we're doing is just trying to format to get it onto the Excel. So I'm just gonna hit delimited. yep, that's fine. Go next, tab, yep. And if I go down, that's the thing, is when you start going down and you start looking, you better see the different divisions with the numbers, right? Everything should be in its own column. I see that my delimiter is tab. I'm gonna hit, basically I'm just gonna hit finish. Did everybody, was everybody able to get that into Excel? Any problems? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of all this uh, up, this crap up here, right? I'm just going to highlight everything from one to row one to row 19, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say delete. You can even like bold the uh, top ones, you know, <clears throat> so you can kind of see it better. Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to find my first thing or my first investigation is I want to find all its buddies, SDK 11's buzzy, buddies. So how am I going to do that? 
I'll just tell you. <laughs> I was going to say, man, you know, it's Monday, but it's Thursday for crying out loud. Okay. <laughs> so we got our value, right? We got our column, our value. I'm going to put my, my cursor into 2C, cell 2C. Then what we're going to do is we're going to sort from smallest to largest or whatever your says, you know. Oh, actually not smallest to largest. Go largest to smallest, I'm sorry. Does everybody now have SDK 11 on, is your top gene? Everybody with me so far? Okay. All right, these are the, it's SDK 11 super friends, right? So what do you think most of these things, are these good people or bad people? Are these cops or robbers? What do you think? Positively correlated to SDK 11. What's that? Cops, totally, yes. Not only are they cops, but they're probably doing something, you know, they're helping SDK 11. The thing is, is if I can study these things that are like STK, that behave just like STK, I can get a very good idea of what that thing is doing in my system. So here's what I want you to do, is I want you to select uh, row 2B or cell 2B. And then I, what I want you to do is I want you to go down, we're gonna take the top 200. Right, we sorted it by p-value, so basically what we're getting is its best friends. It's got lots of other friends, but these are its best friends. It's 200 best friends, based on the similar expression. So I'm gonna go down to row 201, which should be RIN3, and I'm gonna just shift select all that. So I'm just selecting my genes, gene symbols. Everybody do that? Okay, excellent. So copy that any way you want. Control C, do it through the menu, whatever you want. Okay, we've done that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our, go back to your browser and here's what I want you to do. I want you to put in, type in string and then you can actually put, you know, like protein. You should come up with string functional protein association networks. 